we're in Glasgow for a couple of days to do some sightseeing. I say sightseeing, I just want to look for five uh, police boxes, <laughs> TARDISes. But we will do some sightseeing as well at the same time. But at the moment we are in the slap bang centre of Glasgow Shopping Centre. towards our first TARDIS police box. Lane can't wait can you Lane? Oh, I'm so excited. Some of these uh, police boxes have been turned into like um, little cafes. But I don't think this one is. Here it is. Look at this. Amazing. Christmas has definitely come to Glasgow, hasn't it? It's very pretty. And there's, there's a lot of stalls out already. It's looking very pretty. And this traffic cone on top of his head has been there since 2011, and the council keep removing it. Apparently it costs thousands of pounds every time the council tries to remove the cone. But every time they remove the cone, someone keeps putting it back. I think it's quite nice. Is it going to rain, dear? Yeah, quite probably. <laughs> We're also looking out for murals in honour of Billy Connolly. So we've just found our first one of this, this three in total. And that's the first one. It's amazing. And here's our third. Billy Connolly mural. The grand one, isn't it? One of those magnificent. All three of them. Now we're going to go and search for more TARDISes. We've just found another police telephone box. Honestly, we were just walking along and this just appeared out of nowhere. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's locked. Phone box number? Three. Three? That's a good one. This one's in good condition, isn't it? As well. We think this is. We think this is one of the ones which is a cafe in the day. I don't know if you can see in the window. There's cans. Cans of pop. There's cans of pop. <laughs> so it's not bigger on the inside. Good morning from Glasgow. A second day here. The sun is shining. Yesterday it drizzled a little bit, but it was dull and this morning the sky is blue. So really looking forward to exploring what Glasgow has to offer. There's our first police box of the day. That is really, considering it's pink, it's quite impressive. Oh, I can see a photograph opportunity coming up. Wow, look at that. We're going to jump on, well, we're going on uh, the hop on hop off bus this morning to take us around the main sites of Glasgow. So we've got a, a few museums and sites we want to see.
view from up here because we're on the hop on hop off bus. Hey, let's do some exploring. Thanks very much. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was our transport to get here. And now we're at the cathedral. Look what they've done to this. Right, we're at the Glasgow Necropolis, which is like a giant cemetery full of tombs. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Gosh, it doesn't mind, does he? Whee! Don't know who's going fast to me, the bus. And we're off. The Glasgow Hop on Hop Off bus is really useful because it takes you to all the main sites in Glasgow and hence the name, you can just hop on and hop off as needs be. We're at the Riverside Museum. I look round, there's a big ship at the back. The good thing about most of the museums in Glasgow, they're free. <laughs> Going on a ship. Um, all aboard. <laughs> hey, Captain. We're sinking, Captain. <laughs> Jack, oh, Jack, Jack. We're in the heart of the ship, and here is the engine room. Now, Elaine didn't want me to press this button. Oh, it's happening! Run! <laughs> I think we can have a look in here. Pick a car, any car, wow. We're inside the Riverside Museum. It's amazing. Did you own one of these when you were a kid? Chopper. This is our next camper van for our holiday. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> How retro is that? That's crazy. It's clever, isn't it? Do you want a drink? Come on then, there's plenty of choice. Come on. Uh, got a choice of um, Iron Brew, Iron Brew, or Iron Brew. So that was the Riverside Museum. How good was that? Completely free, full of transport from the centuries, including trains and cars, and different vehicles. Shoes. 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 It was really good, actually, really good. It was voted the European Museum of the Year back in 2013, and we can see why too. So, yeah, recommended. Yeah. That's good. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you. This is the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. And we're going to have a look around it right now. Apparently, <laughs> Kelvin Grove 
Art Gallery Museum is the number one attraction in Glasgow. University. This morning, we're at the People's Palace. This is called the Dalton Fountain. It's the largest terracotta fountain in the world. And the very top, you can see Queen Victoria. Let's step into the People's Palace. This is Glasgow Green, the oldest park in Scotland apparently. And that is the back of the People's Palace. Very quaint. So we've just uh, got off the bus um, at the Hydro and we thought we'd have a, a walk across the bridge, across the river and have a look. The sun's shining. It's really quite lovely here. You've got BBC Scotland across the way and you've got the views overlooking the river as well. This part of Glasgow has been uh, redeveloped over recent years and especially because the Commonwealth Games were held here that and other events have just transformed the city, it's amazing. And that over there is the last remaining crane from the industrial era. We've arrived at the Botanical Gardens. Look at this little 